Welcome back to my little channel. Now, I have, in the past, made several videos about the nonsense of the ecological mafia trying to force us to be as scared as possible when it comes to the changes of the climate in the planet Earth. Yeah, I know, that was a butchered sentence, but there's a reason why I butchered that sentence. Because everything they say is a lie. Now, obviously, you could make fun of my sentence, but, I mean, look at the headline here. Climate change's own goal. Laws to combat acid rain are driving Arctic warming, claims NASA in April of 2009. They, they claimed it a little bit before that, by the way. Unfortunately, I can't find the original NASA paper anymore. The thing is, history gets rewritten from time to time. Apparently, people like to believe that they are correct, and their being correct is pretty much based on who pays them. It's, it's kind of funny. Because uh, I think uh, V, Romanian V, made a video about the, the emperor's clothes not too long ago. And the, the emperor clothes are not only about that story. It's, it's the whole concept of it. You are forced to believe something because if you do not believe it, you're not smart. Therefore, either you believe it and you're smart or you do not believe it. And therefore, you must be stupid thing is climate change's own goal the laws to combat acid rain are the major well are one of the main causes of arctic warming claims nasa now let's let's go back into the text a little bit it's a small article i'll not lie but it's wildly recognized that humans are their own worst enemy when it comes to global warming but the latest research from NASA suggests laws created to preserve the environment are causing much damage. Legislation to improve air quality and cut acid rain has accounted for a shocking half of Arctic warming over the past three decades. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking when I'm reading this, I'm thinking about something else that we did. Because um, some time ago, we had a problem with phosphates in the water. Now, these phosphates came from washing up liquids. No, not washing up liquids. Clothes washing liquids and clothes washing powders. And these phosphates fed algae in the water. And this was considered a bad thing. Fair enough, whatever. So we had to cut down on phosphates, which we did. We massively cut down on phosphates which caused a massive death toll in fish. Because, you know, fish eat algae, and algae live on phosphates. Phosphates are gone, less algae, therefore not all fish could feed themselves less fish. But we don't look at it like that. We think we have a problem, and we jump. Everyone, jump to the left. Jump to the right. Jump to the left. No one is taking the time to think about these things. Someone shouts, oh, well, this is the answer. But it's not. But we believe it because a lot of people start shouting, no, no, this is the answer. The emperor's clothing are beautiful. If you can't see that the emperor's clothing are beautiful, you are an idiot. Climate change is man-made. And if you can't see it, you're an idiot. And everything we do to stop the climate changing makes it go faster. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm hugely in favor of us trying to keep our environment as clean as possible, especially when we talk about acid rain. Yeah, it's a good thing if we got that down. But if we overdo it, we are basically making the pendulum swing to the other end. And then we can claim that this is because of something else. Pretty soon, I'll make another video where people will agree to this it's the aerosols that were included in the atmosphere by man-made uh, actions like sulfates and soot 
that used to be able to deflect some of the warmth, hence this image. It's not as black and white as this, obviously not, but it sheltered the Earth a little bit from the heating effects of the sun. I don't think it did a lot, but it did something. And then it's gone. So it will increase the temperature on Earth. It's not because the warmth gets captured in our air, which it does, don't get me wrong, but it's because more of that warmth actually reaches us. And it's a good thing that warm, warmth gets stuck in the air above us. Because if it didn't, then during the day when the sun is shining, it's going to be nice and warm. And during the night, the temperatures will drop massively, which in all fairness, in certain areas in the world, it already does. But it's not CO2 or other man-made chemicals or blah blah. By the way, CO2 is not man-made. Whatever people tell you, it's not. I mean, we may bring it back into the atmosphere, but bringing it back is just a circle of life. But the major um, greenhouse gas in the world is water vapor. Now, no one talks about that. But if you look at places like um, the Sahara, yeah, you can have day temperatures of around 40 or 50 degrees Celsius, sorry. And during the night, it can drop as much as to minus 40 degrees why? Well, because there is hardly any water vapor in the air there. So there is almost nothing in the air to keep in the warmth. Obviously, uh, if it constantly gets warmer and warmer and warmer, yeah, that might be an issue. But then again, when does it become an issue? They're talking about the air heating up for half a degree. Fair enough. Make it 2 degrees. Sure, why not? Will that be a problem? Well, what if all the, 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 the ice caps melt? Yeah, okay. What if that happens? Well, it will flood countries. Will it though? I'm not sure. It might. I'm not saying it couldn't. But then again, I live in the Netherlands, so I already live under the water level. So I think humans can deal with this. We already know how to deal with this. But we're also being made afraid. Therefore, we're allowed to be afraid, but we're not allowed to think that we can handle it. No, no, we have to jump to the left when the left says so. And we have to jump to the right when the left says so, because most of this comes from the left, sorry. But then this happens. Climate change own goal, the laws to combat acid rain, are driving Arctic warming. Criticism is more than welcome. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Let me know what you think. And I will come back to articles like this because people, seriously, we're being led astray. We are being fed lies and we are supposed to believe it. Do I think this is that big of a deal? Yeah, I do think it is. I mean, yeah, I'm all in favor of combating acid rain. Um, it's a good thing. If this causes Arctic warming to go up, then so be it. Don't stop with fighting the acid rain, because acid rain is a bigger problem than global warming. But now they want us to keep fighting the acid rain thing, or rather, they're no longer talking about it because we more or less managed. So now something else is the problem. Oh, it's CO2 that causes global warming. Well, wait a second. If the climate change goals to reduce acid rain were the cause of global warming, should we then go back to polluting the earth? Personally, I would say no, but I don't think that's what the CO2 argument is. The CO2 argument is an argument to stop us from producing. That's probably why most of the eco-terrorists are socialists and communists at heart. There are very few capitalistic eco-terrorists. Maybe we should have more of those. Maybe that would be a good idea. Because those people don't want to destroy your way of life, they just want to preserve the earth. Unlike people from Extinction Rebellion, who wants to destroy your life, and they do so whilst pretending to want to protect the earth. 
Anyway, I was just saying that this is it for today. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And criticism, as always, is more than welcome. And I'll not start rambling again. I hope to see you next time.